Chandigarh goes, water goes to Ganga system, west of Chandigarh, water goes to. So, Ambala, Delhi, Ambala, Chandigarh, it is on water divide. So, it's a water divide. So, this is the pattern, uh, the water flow. In India, basically, before discussing India, let me discuss the pattern. You know the pattern? One is the uh, uh, dendritic pattern. Dendritic means tree like pattern. The pattern when to, uh, surface is generally uh, sandstones, weathered, so river, uh, tree like, tree like pattern is there. So this is a tree like pattern. <coughs> This pattern is called dendritic pattern. Another pattern is called pinnate pattern. Any drainage pattern which is having only two branches. This is one branch and this is another branch. It is another. So it makes only a pinnate branch. This is pinnate drainage pattern. But it is tree-like branch. It is having branch upon branch. So always there are the uh, series of channel, main channel, second channel, third channel, fourth channel and this is fifth channel. So there is the sequence of channeling. So we used to calculate the density of uh, uh, drainage and the frequency of drainage also. So. <coughs> density and frequency. So this is pinnate drainage, leaf type of pattern. And apart from that, the third pattern is, you can say, trellis pattern. Trellis is generally found in the uh, rifted area, fractured area. And rifted, uh, bete, please come, come, I want to talk to you. Please, leave it here, you come here. Pinnate means uh, it, it, like this is the Narmada river. It is a rifted valley. So it is having only perpendicular branches. Some of the branches. And water is flowing this side. Water is flowing this side. And this is, uh, these are the perpendicular branches. So they are perpendicular. So rifted areas, fractured area. So th these are called trellis trellis pattern. And beyond trellis, there is the fourth pattern. It is called uh, rectangular trellis pattern. Rectangular means sometimes when it is broken in highly fractured area, highly fractured area like uh, Uh, a rectangular means, suppose this is one of the river, it is fractured, one branch is going, this is one, this is trellis, this is trellis. If you see your toposite, sometimes you will find trellis, sometimes you will find pinnate, sometimes you will find dendritic. But suppose this is further, it is fractured. So, uh, please wait for this rectangular drainage pattern. Here, water is flowing in this direction. From here, it is going in this direction. Here, it is going in there. So, it is everywhere. It looks like a perpendicular. It's, it looks like a rectangle. It, 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 it appears in a rectangle. You can see it depends on the fractures and the nature of the faults. it makes a rectangle. <coughs> so it depends on the nature of the rock surface. It is fractured generally in So this is one rectangle. Apart from that, the fifth 
type of drainage is called radial drainage pattern. Radial means when water is radiating uh, from the center, radiating out. Suppose this is the highest point here. You can take Amar Kantak. Water is radiating. So in such condition, it is water is going out here. Water is going. When water is radiating, it is like this type of domal shape of appearance. Water is going this side, this side, and this side. So when water is radiating in all the four directions, in different directions from the center, it is called radial drainage pattern. One is centrifugal drainage pattern. Centrifugal is like circular. Circular means if, if it is a mountain system here, like suppose this is a mountain here, it depends on the nature of the mountain. Suppose one river originates from here, one river comes here at the low height, it takes a circle here, it keeps rotating here and going down. Means water is with decreasing height, it is making a round, round, round and it is going out. So, with, with the height, it is spiraling out and going out. So, these rivers will get water only from one side, from the hill side. Because from this is the smoke, water may not go like this. So, water will be here. So, this double line will confusion ho gaya. So, it is like this. So, it is like this. So water will be coming from this side only, this side only, and this side only, this side only, water will be here. So this is centrifugal drainage system. If you travel from Mysore to Uti in Maharashtra, uh, sorry, in, in, in Uti is in Tamil Nadu and Mysore is in Karnataka. So from Mysore to Uti, we travel like this. So we cross the Paikara river. Paikara river two times. Ek bar yaha, ek bar yaha. Because yaha pura chakar kaat ke pe. So Paikara, we cross the Paikara same river two times. Such type of drainage river ek niche mili fir ek upar mili. That's why Paikara uh, Hydel Power Project you must be knowing. So at Uti. So you must be knowing uh, once I stuck here. Near Mysore there is one, you must be knowing these slopes here. This slope is basically we have the Bandipur. Bandipur MP National Park. You know Bandipur? National Park is for which animal? Basically for tiger. This is for tiger. But just you cross the Bandipur is in Karnataka and you enter to the uh, Tamil Nadu, there is a slope, it is called Mutu Malai. M U D U M A L A I. Or M U T H U Mutu Malai, sometimes it is. Mutu, what it is Mutu Malai? Mutu Malai. This is uh, uh, the sanctuary here, and this sanctuary is basically for elephants. <coughs> So once I was getting down with the, uh, 40 tigers from Shivaji College from Uti to Mysore, uh, bus got uh, stuck over here. We uh, I stayed almost for 12 hours at one point. Uh, and um, midday to the midnight, we repaired the bus and then we moved. So elephants were roaming all around. 
हमारे स्टूडेंट्स भी कुछ ज्यादा ही थे सर हम मुकाबला कर लेंगे सो इट इज लाइक दैट सो मुथु मलाई देन जस्ट वी क्रॉस द मुथु मलाई देयर इज अ स्मॉल यू कैन से रिवराइन सिस्टम सिस्टम एंड वी हैव द बांदीपुर स्टार्टेड सो इट्स ऑल वाइल्ड लाइफ एरिया वेरी डेंस फॉरेस्ट दीज फॉरेस्ट आर बेसिकली ऑफ सैंडलवुड फॉरेस्ट so sandalwood forest are there so this is called centrifugal drainage pattern there is one centripetal reverse of centrifugal centripetal is also there centripetal means uh, like in some types in the lakes water is coming from this side to this side in the low lying area so the drainage looks like this drainage it looks like the drainage water is coming from all the side it is like this water is coming so this type of drainage so it said lake here in the center is the lake lake may be saline lake may be playa lake you know playa lake playa lake means in the deserts सांबर लेक इज ए प्लाया लेक पचभद्रा लेक डीडवाना लेक डेगाना लेक लूनकरणसर लेक ऑल दीज आर दी प्लाया लेक बिकॉज दे दे कलेक्ट लोट ऑफ सॉल्ट फ्रॉम द कैचमेंट एंड दे एक्यूमुलेट दी सॉल्ट इन द सेंट्रल एरिया वाटर गेट इवेपोरेटेड सॉल्ट लेफ्ट बिहाइंड बेसिकली इट इज दर इट डेवलप द लेयर ऑफ कैल्शियम कार्बोनेट ऑफ द सर्फेस सो इट इज प्लाया लेक सो दे फॉर्म द सेंट्री पीटल ड्रेनेज सिस्टम so water is coming in the central it, it makes the inland drainage system so these are the different pattern how a river looks like you have studied the uh, topo sheets and you have in while studying the topo sheet in your first year you must have gone through the different pattern of drainage now come over to the different types of drainage uh types of drainage system different types of drainage types of drainage basically always there is any river system there is one main river which follow the main direction or the flow of the area slope of the area if if a, a, a slope of the area is like this it means water is flowing this side from south east direction to the north west direction so if slope is like this all water will move in this direction दिस इज द मेन रिवर इसको उल्टा कर देते हैं आपको लगेगा ऊपर कैसे पानी चढ़ सकता है सो लेट मी चेंज द डायरेक्शन स्पोर्ट स्लोप ऑफ द रिवर इज लाइक दिस द मेन रिवर इज कॉल्ड कॉन्सिक्वेंट रिवर कॉन्सिक्वेंट इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज सीक्वेंट क्लासिफिकेशन एंड इफ दिस रिवर इज हैविंग वन परपेंडिकुलर रिवर कमिंग फ्रॉम दिस डायरेक्शन coming from perpendicular direction these rivers are moving in this direction so in which direction flow slope of the area is from north west to south east <coughs> this is the average slope of the area but in which direction this is moving perpendicular direction of this slope so this this second type of river <coughs> system are known as subsequent river. subsequent drainage system and beyond subsequent it is uh 